Hi, my name is Richard. I'm co-owner with my wife Connie in this store. Uh, we've been here since 1993. We try to keep this a traditional Native American store. Most of the items we buy from Native American people, but lately uh, I've been doing a lot of my own uh, artwork. For example, this particular knife you see is antler from a deer. Uh, I've done a little inlay in it. It's, it's somewhat traditional. However, uh, the blade itself was pre-made. I just put the handle on it. Uh, now this knife here, this is very, very similar to a Native American made knife with the, with the leather gripping on it. A lot of people like these just for show and display. Um, I make these chokers. Uh, actually, the choker is um, one of the items that we sell a lot of in this store because people uh, like to dress somewhat like Native American people without getting into a lot of delicate type uh, clothing. A choker kind of is representative of what Native Americans truly wear. I make a lot of different type of art. Um, for example, this is a belt buckle. Uh, you notice that it's turquoise and the backing is copper and it's, it's heavy and a lot, of, a lot of men like this heavier type uh, turquoise. I also make pendants, chains, bracelets, things that uh, are readily available in Native American stores throughout uh, the country. Some of the other artwork that I do is the pipes. This is a typical type Native American pipe with the bone handler. It, it again is basically it's for show. Uh, they, they, they can be smoked if somebody would like to smoke them. The regular pipe stone pipe that Native Americans normally use, uh, we cannot really sell those in our store because they're traditional and, and they're basically they're sacred pipes. And some Indian people just prefer that we not sell them and therefore I just make the bone and the antler type pipes. A lot of other things that we make in the store that are traditional are things like the dream catchers, the feathers, the, the, the fans, and particularly uh, shields that you normally would find in the Native American atmosphere. Just sign, just sign off to tell him where the, where the Vanishing Indian is located. The Vanishing Indian is located here in Burbank, and the name the Vanishing Indian was given to us when we took over the store. Thank and you. Come and see us. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Richard. Thank you.